Hey guys, Chris here, and today we're going to be talking about the three options you have when purchasing your next smartphone on AT&T. I'm going to try and keep this video under three minutes. Alright, so I got the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, and there are two different types of phones. The phone that's for your carrier, and the unlocked phone that does not have the AT&T logo on it. The reason why you have the AT&T logo on it is because AT&T is financing the phone for you. So, the first option is purchasing the phone right out of pocket. Purchasing the phone retail price, you would be paying the full value of the phone. So if you're getting a Samsung S6 Edge 64 gigs, you have to pay straight out of pocket $900, not including tax. So with tax, $1,000. The second option is if you're on a two-year contract with AT&T. In that two-year contract, once that contract ends, you can renew your contract. If there's a new phone coming out or if there's a phone you want to upgrade to, all you have to do is renew your contract with AT&T and purchase the subsidized price. That's usually the price you see on the commercials. So the Samsung S6 Edge 64 gig would cost you the subsidized value of $399. That's not including tax. If you're currently still in your two-year contract, in my case I am, I chose the newest option, AT&T Next. AT&T Next allows you to finance your smartphone purchase. AT&T has three financing options, AT&T Next 12, 18, and 24. So what they do is they take the retail value of your phone and divide that by 12, 18, or 24 months. Whichever plan you choose, for 12, 18, or 24 months, you have to pay an even amount of payments. I chose the 24 months, so I'm paying $30 each month for 20, shit, revision right here. Earlier, I said AT&T Next 24 was for 24 months. I was mistaken. AT&T Next 24 is actually for 30 months. So if you purchase this like I did for AT&T Next 24, I will be paying $30 a month for 30 months. 30 times 30, 900. If you have any questions, ask down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Trust. So how is AT&T able to do this? AT&T goes to Samsung, purchases devices, and sells them to you with their logo on it. Along with the logo on top of their smartphone, they also add bloatware, which means you might have AT&T applications. But you can always hide those. You can't delete them. Now that we've gone through that, AT&T does try to sell you other products. If you currently have data, and who doesn't have data on their smartphone? If you don't, this doesn't apply to you, but you are able to purchase a Samsung Galaxy Tab, and all you have to do is pay an extra $10 a month for 24 months. So in total, you're paying $240 for this Tab. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. You have the choice of the Tab 3 or the LG tablet. So if you're planning to upgrade to a new smartphone, you have three options with AT&T. I chose the option of financing it for 24 months, I have the AT&T logo, I have the bloatware that I have hidden on my device, and I purchased an extra $10 a month for a Galaxy Tab 3. I am going to be returning this. It ain't worth it for me. I have this and I'm happy. Keep in mind, if you do purchase this, you do have a $35 restocking fee if you want to return it. Thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Please subscribe for future content.